I'm, I'm just a bit afraid for OG because if the laning phase doesn't go really, really well for them, they won't have enough damage Let's to do go. with a push. Oh, there oh, he is! Oh, God. There he is! <laughs> we know that face. We know that face so well. He's just been lurking in the back, and he finally shows himself with Will TNC's Huskar lineup. Is it going to cheese their way into the next round? Lane to stop this off. And already OG, they're switching everything up. They bring their two supports up to the top lane and leave Moon going up against the Void. I and in fact, no tell, are you... He's hunting into the trees to try and find Dim Jimmy. He actually goes to the old school classic Jimmy Tide Hunter spot up in those trees, but he's not going to find him. Is that his fly? Well, he's trying to body block up Raven. Not enough controls. Actually, a kill going on. Miracle of all is the mid lane that finds the first blood. They're still chasing down Crit on the top lane. This OG safe lane will survive. But Miracle first blood. Ember was already going to have a hard enough a time as it is. Oh, the Avalanche, it connects, Demon, too low, the Shadow Wave, one more attack, it actually comes in from Crit to find it, VS makes his way up, looking for the stun onto no Tell. he's already pretty low, and Raven, no Cold Arrows, no Gust, he doesn't really have any Disable and Control of his own, just the damage buff up. So, he's also found a lot of levels, OG can look to try it and take some fights early on, and in fact with a double smoke, Crit and Fly, they're headed downtown for exactly that, but they may be too late. The VS is roaming around. Moon is like he was right between the fog of war lines. So you can set up if you want to, but Fly will arrive. Crit will join the Iron Radiance Shell. He put one off the Urga. He just slow down the VS with a gust from the throw range. They push them back. Cold arrows as well, keeping them away. But then the stun. Ventral so Spirit's gonna burn up the Iron Shell. But the shallow grave from Demon. Perfect time. Crit will die. The VS gets back in range of the safety of the T1 tower. Now it's Demon, who's right. still in a little bit of trouble. He will finally drop. Yeah. Fly looking for more Thunders. Moon makes a break for the tree line. Fly, he needs more damage with the Iron Shell. He's almost got it. Raven needs to run. He's attracted the creep wave into the troll. The Bash is there, and it's a double kill for Fly. Wow, it's actually so hard to see the Ion Shell in the open. Yeah, he solo killed the Huskar. It looks like it was the heavy spirit committal. Wow. That's a matchup that's like nearly impossible to win. That's like an 85, you know, 90 matchup favorite favorite Huskar. But, and then, well, I, I, that was toasty. Who's finally revealed himself. He was missing from the mid lane, that's what OG was looking for. But the imp is ruined that allowed him to stay hidden. And no tell, he's gonna toss in fly, which will allow for the follow up stun. They keep the control with the avalanche and cuckoo. They burn through him again. And OG, there's a reason why teams are scared of letting them have IO. Well, growl, strength, getting pushed in. Not good. Probably not. Especially when Raven's gone for like a heavy stat item build. Like double race for the next to a circle at Miracle. Easy maneuver. Can close the distance on a draw range with an ease. And then actually leaves his spirit underneath the tier one tower on the top lane. Yep. They're, still they're waiting for Tiny. Tiny's gonna smoke in a little slank. He has Bloodlust, he has Shadow Blade. I don't believe TNT have any. There's no sentries. There's no sentries down. They won't understand that Nortel's right on top of VS in the green line. Sons of Alba, they just pass the bro under the T1 tower. Zark City Wall, they're just gonna use the damage from that to find the kill. And now Cuckoo, life breaks up. A great Kono catching three on the back line. This will give TNT a chance to Cuckoo with a shallow grave. He'll stand his ground, but that will be brought down. OG, they may even have the sustain required to win this fight as they get the extra stun for loss for TNT. Miracle arrives in the nick of time. That was a really important point where he had an armor toggle. And that you take. There are 10,000 gold in the hole, and this would be a nice pick me up for Cuckoo. It's crazy to think they don't know. Like, there's no Chronosphere, so you wouldn't think at OG that that would slip in, but there it is. Aegis the Immortal, like, goes the way of the Huskar. However, they're isolated. Three of them out Radiant on their own. Tower. He puts it's down the wall. Tower. He'll get a couple of illusions. The life break called from Cuckoo. No tower in through the rear. However, Avalanche top. Say goodbye to the Aegis Immortal Demon. Already used the grave on himself. Still with a couple of one charges. Won't commit them. And now Cuckoo. Sam, he has to let Chronos be a guard when they're all outside of it. They can move over towards Moon. But then he zones in. He wants to fight this one. Miracle's already got a triple kill. There's none of his steering chains up for another one second. No way to toss him forward. But he'll have his spirit up if he wants to jump towards the faceless void. Time walk is off cool and a one second time at Miracle gets there. The time walk will allow him to get back in range of the tier 3. So Miracle will just have to settle for a triple kill.
Don't know opening just yet. No tell. Moved into that cover of the Silver Edge, walking right behind Cuckoo. There's no there's no sentry wars, there's just the towers that I have to rely on. And with the tether, he'll run in. Avalanche throwing Cuckoo back out again. It's a good chrono position for Sen, but he's still waiting for it. Now he gets it. The Jellicrave will be half star up. Four hero Shimoji caught out. They try and swap into a safe position. Now he leads back in. Runs up a no tell. Cuckoo can't hold it, however. There's too many iron shells up. There's still one for one trade off. Make that one for two. A special spirit will fall as well. Miracle copy. Too much damage from this Drow Ranger. Very, very low. Places Void needs a time lock as well if you can find this kill over on crit as the fight will separate. So they're around the ancient. The slide of fist. This will actually keep Miracle out of the fight for a little bit longer until Void moves over. Not in range for a punch. It's crit down south. Miracle up north. He's turning around with a spirit damage to the side of fist. Demon's even so low. They chat away where they bring down Miracle. And they'll bring down crit as well. TNC. Repelling OG, Moon lucky to survive, TPing out a little bit further up on the top lane. Opening in mid, sentries are down, there's no one in visiting close. No observer wards as well. Totally and they, oh wow, this. really? Really? Raven just slipped around the side, almost to his farm, and the side of this steering chase didn't connect from Miracle. The chrono is up in six seconds, OG must be careful here. Might it almost be worth it. She doesn't have Surge. You've only got Greaves up. Now, the tether forward. Crit does have relocate, but a three-man chrono. Sam hits it. Miracle wants to try and fight, but they're probably going to lose. Crit knows the Greaves, and the one charge is great. It finally gets it close up to find the kill. The two-for-one trade-off, they move around the dark sea wall. Miracle back in again. A double searing chain. They have enough. Piney comes back in again, too. Surged up, Iron Shell into Silver Edge. Where's that sentry? There are two of them down. You'll get the avalanche that's coming is there. Spider Fist, it is going to be enough damage to get through the face of Void, but the throws on the back line, peppering OG down. Wow, what team fight coming out from TNC? That was like one of those chronos that you're afraid, like if you miss, you'll hit zero, but if you hit it, you get three of them. That was just what they needed. In, taking this T1 tower on the bot lane. Radiance Which looks like a big objective, but that's only attack. because of the blood loss. It's a very easy one. Fallen. And then mid lane, no tells pushing in. Miracle's coming through the top. You take the tier one and you already got to back up. Unless you want to have heavy damage done to your buildings. Void perhaps looking for a Chronosphere. BS can't get there in time. No tell being very defensive. The bottom lane, Miracle. Radiance he gets it. With the double damage to work. Mana style sends the two illusions back over to the creep. And then spirits away up to the top lane. Now Demon Cuckoo caught out by their low jump. As their TP's worth the rotated back, and they are just dead. And Moon was the bait. Cuckoo tried to turn on the damage. There's too much. This is the problem when OG can bring in so much support so quickly. Now TNC is really feeding him that much. But now it's time for Roshan. So OG. They have the confidence this time around just to slip into the pit. They have the damage because the tiny is no longer on the top lane. Meanwhile on bot lane, and Miracle! That's a big one! Miracle will die! He's dead for a good 80 seconds, no buyback available. OG will at least have the advantage. They started Roshan before this happened, so TNC can't just look over and force an OG fight. Would have been a good time for it as well. Chrono's coming back off cooldown in 10 seconds time. And they go to Ron Zoe, who actually Miracle now actually has his buyback, but No-Tell caught out. They still have Swap available, so if they want to hold No-Tell in close, they can do so. Faces Void, Chrono's up, leads forward, doesn't have really a great target to go on, and the relocate is there. Crit will take him back. But they know Io is on the, on the return. I wonder if they're going to, like, buyback Io and, or buyback on Ember and spring a trap. Oh, no! They swap fly in. They're looking for more. They're actually going to bring down fly. With a half scout jump, tower. Void moves over. Attack. Chrono on the crit. They really are just committing for one kill on the other. They don't care as long as they get fallen. the kill, which they'll be able to do so they get through the tier 2 tower. Buybacks is up for all three players of OG, but their base is now Dyer's under attack. Tower is under attack. Dyer's structures buyback trying to scare TNC off, but without... Miracle on the buyback. The big wall! Three men with the avalanche! Flag will arrive! They're buying time! Still no miracle! Pulled back! He has not done it yet! He's waiting a timeout! Cooker will 
will battle against Chris. The cheese will keep him alive. Also giving the regeneration to Nurtel, who's hunting the back line, keeping the Murray door on the cuckoo. He turns. Nurtel will drop. The miracle is alive once again. And maybe TNC don't want to fight. The blink from Nurtel. He gets away, still gusted up. He'll get back to the tier 3 tower. Miracle looking to make the space moon again with another jump pin. But it's Cuckoo. It's the Husker. You've got to fear him. Not to mention, fear Raven. That damage with a gust pushing Miracle away. The face is void on 30 life. He'll time walk off the damage. Raven in the trees. No time will finally get a kill on the TNT member. And Miracle will make it die. Faceless void dropping. Our TNT players, they have buyback too. But that patience from OG not bringing Miracle back in. Is Husker actually out? He may go down. Honey's right behind him. He'll end up hitting him. That actually break the blood. The Cuckoo will stand his ground. Demon moves over. Giving the extra armor. Down no tell. Does he fit enough more than he can chew? With a shallow grave, you fit on Ellie. They're gonna go through more. Cuckoo, life break up in two seconds time. Flies in the free line. Thrown down by the Scarty. Miracle gusts it up. This could be huge if they can find him. Cuckoo, life break. He lost the vision. Miracle got it around the tree line. He'll blink himself down and TP out. They top will top not catch the Ember Spirit. These have been some amazing gusts from Raven, though. Always catching the Ember Spirit off guard. I'll end up denying Radiance it out. Top tower has been denied. All the lanes being pressured. Moon was taking care of the bottom, and TNC, they're going to try and find any kind of opening. They don't have everybody with them, however. The Huskar's not the neighborhood, and they just walk into No Tail. A break three, tiny. Well, there's your shallow grave for Kronos. No Tail's out. Moon's going to try and create his face and back into a three man wall, pulling into sand. But Rage is still the man doing the damage. You can keep him locked in, but now Raven the damage to fly will it be enough? You need this to arrange to do some lifting. Fly will drop two heroes on the sideline. They buy back on the V. Yes, almost! Finding the kill on the TPing out crit. Miracle also home safely. But that's two heroes down. Instant buyback comes out from the tiny. And I see a demon edge over on that courier for Raven. Rapier? Uh, if he was gonna buy a rapier, he would have sold something else. Like, he's still gonna sell the S and Y. He might just be looking for Monkey King Bar. Yeah, Monkey King Bar versus the Solo Crest. Bottom lane, Cuckoo, out too far. Hit by that Silver Edge. He'll have protection. BKB will come out. He needs more health, however. And it's coming in the void! He gets a three-man chrono, but they swap out no tell. It's all out rage to attack into him. And no tell so far away from the fight. The Tiny's down with no buyback. All that was lost was the V and the Void. But you're still okay with that. You keep your two primary sources of damage up. Cuckoo and Raven. They will survive. Crit. Awfully close. He has a blink and a TP available, yet he's still waiting. What is he waiting for? I'm not sure. He has to have a plan of some sort. Um, relocates the hero down to himself? Yeah. Not sure. Maybe he's looking for like a wisp explosion on someone, but I don't know who who would be. No one's really loving it. He's going for a snipe. Warrior snipe. <laughs> that would be... Interesting to it to attempt. Yeah, I think he's actually going to do it. Demon here. just put down the observer ward, so he doesn't see him. He's not close enough. And the courier, well, with the creep wave, one attack, two attack, Radiant's three attack, TP, and Demon the shadow wave damage. It won't be enough. Courier snipe is real. A lot of sustain that comes from the VS and the Dazzle. All these things they keep using to like perfection, and it doesn't allow OG to finish it. Oh, and I want to see from Miracle is yeah, there she is. We have ourselves a rapier onto the Ember Spirit. We almost hit the hour mark as TNC. They'll enter the mid. Do they go for a GG push? That yep, they are. They're attacking the T4 towers. Already the jump forward. Chris, he needs help now. That wall will be enough. Cuckoo's still there. The Chrono Spirit can't move. Cuckoo runs into it. No shot going to go down. No buyback. They're going for the T4. Ember down. The rapier's gone. It's all dead. Wow, look at them cheering the booth. They have to be so incredibly happy with that win. And net worth does not matter that much anymore. Sam H with the faces void hit zero kills on him, but the, all of those chronospheres on all of those cores, OG eliminated on day number two of TI6, something that I would never imagine myself hearing. I cannot believe it.